everyone, this is Mo with Green Places. And what we got here is our new wind turbine for our 34 foot motorhome. And this came in yesterday in a package. Uh, we got it from Amazon. You can buy them as cheap as $250. This is how much this one cost. And it's pretty decent. It actually goes up to 400 watts. And All right, so this is our wind turbine. Uh, it does come disassembled, so I did have to put these wings together and this little cap on top of it. But that's pretty much all you got to do except for the uh, ring um, that I got here. This wire ring uh, allows me, it's actually a plumbing, got, uh, you can buy it in your local hardware store. And then I was able to attach it with these uh, screws and bolts pretty steadily. And this is going to go on top of uh, another pipe that I got. So this is the pipe we got for the wind turbine. Uh, it's a steel pipe. I got it from a local hardware store. Uh, you can buy them at 10 foot and then they'll cut it for you if they, they have the right equipment. So all I had to do is pretty much cut it and thread it. Um, so I got two of these, which is the 10 foot pipe cut in half. And then um, you want to make sure you got a good stable spot on your rig to attach this to. Unfortunately, we don't have a ladder on the rig, so I wasn't able to attach it to the ladder. But what I am able to, and what I found out, is that I have a little shaft in the refrigerator um, that I'm able to push this to, and it's exactly this, um, this uh, uh, size. And what I got is this. This is uh, a little plumbing T-shaped uh, hookup that I got to uh, the actual steel pipe. So this threads into here. Um, the reason I got the T-shape is because uh, I'm going to be able to attach it and as you can see I can still access the wires on this side. Uh, they do say and they do recommend that the charge controller uh, goes as close to the turbine itself as possible. Uh, so this is the wind turbine charge controller. This actually came with the, with the wind turbine itself. Uh, it goes between 24 to 12 volts so you can use any power. Um, Output you got uh, whatever way your battery is hooked up so and you can get up to 400 watts out of it I'm expecting to do at least half um, on average and then uh, all you need to do really is just hook up these three wires that was a little bit confusing for me since it doesn't say uh, plus or minus but these three wires will go into the uh, uh, the wind turbine itself and then from the wind turbine you got these two plus and minus cables those will go into the actual charge controller that I have uh, on the rig. You can get your own charge controller or just hook them up directly to your battery. This will actually charge your battery directly. Uh, in this case, I want to kind of you know meter it and see exactly how much it's bringing in. So I do have an extra charge controller inside. So I'm going to hook these up to that and I'm going to show you exactly how I do that as well. I'm able to attach this somehow. Uh, I'm still thinking about how to do that. But I will drive the wiring out of there into the charge controller. Okay. And then from the charge controller, this, these two wires will go down the pipe behind my refrigerator into my solar system setup. So I, I do have uh, batteries and, and solar panels going in the charge control already, and we're going to hook this up to it. Uh, but I put it up so far high just so it, it is as close as possible to the wind turbine itself. And the idea uh, is to basically, when we travel, take off that extra uh, steel beam and the turbine, put it in our storage and go. And then whenever we dock somewhere, um, I'll be able to attach those wires. I'm gonna get the MC4 connector for them so I can easily attach and detach them whenever I want. And that doesn't, um, that won't interfere with our travels because this beam goes pretty far up. So you're gonna see how that goes as well. Alright, so we're on the rooftop of the RV here. As you can see, I uh, put one of the pipes with the insulator down the shaft here. Uh, this is right above my fridge. As you can see, as I'm going to run my cables directly through the pipe. So I don't have to go behind the fridge. And I got a little clam here, as you can see. And I'm going to um, screw it directly into the there's a wood here wood framing so I'm gonna screw that into the wood framing so this doesn't wiggle around in there but it is in pretty sturdy as you can see I'm trying to push it but I can't uh, and then I got this extra beam that's gonna go on top of this one
All right, so we're here with the wind turbine, and as you can see, we made uh, progress. We made uh, a hole that this went through, and then we covered it with some cock seal just to make sure we don't have any leakage. And now um, I put on this fitter, this T-shaped fitting, um, and I'm gonna mount the actual pipe on it. But first I'm gonna do some wiring, um, just to make sure I got all the wires set up before I start mounting anything.